man, he hasn't even made it a second time around the field. We are going to have so many sugar beets, you guys. Wow. <laughs> we may not, we may not ever have to harvest sugar beets again for the rest of this playthrough. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have got a lot of work to do here in October. So, uh, first order of business is we're going to actually get started cutting um, the hay here on field 57, or more specifically, course play is going to get started doing that. So, let's just get the mower started here. Bring up course play, go here, load field 57, big M spiral, load course, activate, first waypoint, go to town. Okay, um, so off camera I got the second application of slurry uh, applied to the field, so it's been double fertilized, and uh, I ran out of slurry so I had to use a little bit of uh, what's called digestate, yeah, from the biogas plant. Okay, so, so we're going to get that done. Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to rent uh, from the store a sugar beet harvester. I think I'm just going to get one for now, and maybe another one later. We'll see. Uh, but we have a field... Uh, 68, which is now our field that we purchased in the last episode, in case you didn't see that. And it has sugar beets on it. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, go here to the store. We want to go to beet technology. We want to get the largest uh, harvester, which is the Tiger 65. And neither one of these come with a header, though, do they? So this is a 768 with 43,000 liters. Uh, can we put the... Okay, that's a 6x45 header. That's a 9x45 header. So, yeah, we, we definitely want the bigger... Uh, the bigger header. So it means that means we have to get this one. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and lease that. $25,000 just to lease that sucker. But you got to do what you got to do. And then we want, okay, what was the header again? It was the RRXL 945. All right, so beat technology, this guy here. That's a 4-meter header versus a 2.7-meter header. So lease that. And we got that going. Okay, good. Now, let's grab, um, i got to think about this for a second. I think I want to keep the fit over here for working that hay field. So let's get, um, actually, hold on a second. Here, let's just turn that back off for a second. I'm going to get the man and the, and the big cramp trailer. Everything hooked up here. And we'll use this for hauling, and we'll just see uh, how well it can keep up with the harvester. Because uh, it's a pretty big trailer. And if it can't keep up with it, in other words, we need to, we want to keep the harvester running nonstop, then we'll add another uh, trailer to the mix. But let's start with this. All of our sugar beets are going to go directly into our sugar mill, and then... He, and then anything left over, which I'm expecting we'll have probably have a decent amount left over. I'm probably going to buy the beet shed for that, uh, which is a mod that I installed a whoa, long time ago for that purpose. So let's just get the truck out to the field. And then we'll bring the harvester out. Okay, uh, we actually have to set up a, an auto drive course for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn that on and turn this on and we will turn this in we'll call this what what field is this 68 yeah okay so F 68 load
and then it the first drop off for this course will be our sugar mill Okay, so that takes care of that course. Let's just double check it now and make sure that it is good. So uh, first go to F68 load, which obviously it should be able to go to from here. Okay, and then go to sugar mill unload. Okay, that's a good sign. We'll just follow it and make sure it takes the right route. Ah, so it's taking a different route. That's fine, though. It, it'll take the path of sh short shortest resistance, or not really resistance, but the quickest path there. Okay, that's looking good. And then we just want to confirm it can get back to field 68 load. All right, we're going to have a problem here. Let's get in the... This isn't the path I set up for it, obviously, but it's the one it wants to take, so I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day as long as the path is good. No, it does matter because, <laughs> doggone it, it needs to stay out on the road. There's no point in it turning in here. All right, I'm going to have to temporarily uh, break the path on that uh, to get that to work right. I don't know if I have to manually do anything here. It doesn't appear to uh, require that. Okay. I'm going to get the uh, harvester out to the field and get it started, and then I'm going to tweak that path just a little bit. Okay, let's get this thing started. Um, unfold first. Oh no, that's the header. Looks like the pipe's going to be on the left. Okay. Uh, let's turn this, uh, or actually no, we need to set this to field 68 load. No driver with the same target available. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. Um, I wonder if we actually have to have that in place first, actually. Here, let's go to you. And we want to set you to combine mode. Field 68 load and sugar mill unload. Okay. 
and I think we'll just then turn you on. And then if we go back to the harvester. Okay, the red text went away. Let's get you on the field. Well, we don't want to get him all the way on the field because uh, we'll damage the crop. So let's start. Okay. Now we want to go here. We want to go uh, bring the field into view. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the loops. I mean, the loops seem to work the best, so they really do. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of headlands on this. So let's start with 20 and see what it looks like. Okay, and then that does a bunch of up and downs in the middle, so let's try 30. Actually, though, by the time we get to that point, it might not be a bad idea to do up and downs. Well, no, I don't think it's going to matter. Let's try 30. Yeah, that looks good enough to me. Okay, and let's save this course as a field, and we need to create a new folder. Create a new folder. This is field 68. And what was the width of that header? Was it four meters or three meters? Four meters. I can't remember now. Um, let's go here and here. Four meters. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to field 68. We're going to save this course. We're going to call it F68 um, Beats. 4M. And I think we're good to go. Okay, let's go back to the farm. And I want to jump in you for now and I just want to tweak this pathway because I don't want it going through the yard here there's no reason for it to it should just stay on the road unless there's a broken link which we'll need to fix then uh, so let's turn this on Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to break this link here. And hopefully I remember that I did that so the next time we need to use it I can just fix it again. All right. Now we just want to tell you to drive to F68 load. Yeah, I don't know why I just didn't do that in the first place, because it seems to me like it would have been longer to go around, but that's what it wanted to do. Wait a minute. Where in the world are you going? <laughs> Where's he going? Uh, this is nowhere near Field 68. There's no path to field 68 out here. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it go just because I'm curious <laughs> as to what it thinks it's doing. How funny, man. I bet you I know what it's doing. Yeah. Okay. 
it did there isn't uh there's a break in the left turn to go down the street to field 68 so the only path he could find is this one that has a right turn that does work so it's actually doing the only thing that it can do okay that makes sense now i, I just was really confused at first okay so let's turn this off and I have control once again, and we just have to figure out where that break of the link is. Okay, so from the straight line, not the curved line, I I think I know what I did wrong. I think I created the link from the, from the curved line instead of the straight line. So if I delete that and delete that, move that over a little bit, and then do that, now it should turn left to go to field 68. Nope, it still doesn't. Okay, something's still not working there. Okay, if I connect it to this node and then tell it to go to 68, it should turn there, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. So turn that back off. Okay, so this goes to there. That goes to there. But I still think that's coming off the curve here. Okay, so let's delete that and hook those two up. And what we have to do is go back to the the last straight piece, which is this one, and reconnect that into there and then connect that to there that should work let's start from here there we go Okay, now we're in business. I'm just gonna follow it all the rest of the way down this path to make sure that it's actually working correctly. All right, looks like it's working and it looks like we have our first uh, trailer load there too. Now the next question is, can that trailer get back here before the combine fills up? I want to see if I can send you back to... Just go to stave silo um, one load to go home. Okay. So the combine is currently at 25% full. So let's follow the beet truck on the way to the sugar mill and see if it can get everything dropped off and back to the combine before it fills up again. If it can, then we should be able to do this with one, just this one trailer. If it can't, then we'll have to add another to the mix because I want to keep that combine going full time. I think it's slowing down here because it's trying to 
think what the best path is to take since it has multiple options. And it sh I'm expecting it to turn left here and go through that way instead of the way that I set up for it, which is fine. Okay, then it should tip here. Look at that. Beautiful. And we will finally, for the first time since we, that tiny amount of time that we started, get our sugar mill producing sugar again. Uh, so sugar beet sugar activate. Oh, man, we're, <laughs> we're going to have so many extra sugar beets. Oh, my goodness. Look how much that filled it up just from one load. Okay, that's going to be fun. I hope that little shed that I'm going to buy has lots of capacity. <laughs> Okay, let's follow the truck back, make sure it takes the right path, and see if the combine is waiting or if it's still moving when we, when we get all the way back. So it should now turn left down the, the road up there. It can't turn into the property now because I broke the link for that. Oh, you know what, though? Something just occurred to me. That's why it turned into the property because it couldn't get there from the straight. So I don't. I can actually repair that link, and I, I think we'll be fine. Because it didn't. I couldn't figure out why it would have gone the long way when it's supposed to go the most direct route. So that explains it. Man, this auto drive. It's really really cool, but it's so easy to to screw something up with it. <laughs> you know. Okay, I think we can turn the nodes off now. Let's just watch it drive to its destination here. I think the combine is still going because otherwise I, we'd probably get the course play message at the top of the screen there saying that it's full and waiting to unload. So looks like the timing on this is going to be good and we can support this with just one trailer man he hasn't even made it a second time around the field we are going to have so many sugar beets you guys wow <laughs> we may not we may not ever have to harvest sugar beets again for the rest of this playthrough We're, we've gone from a major shortage of them to a major overage of them that's hilarious. Yeah, he's just now finishing his second pass at the top of the field. The thing about sugar beets, though, too, is you if you have to, you can just dump them in a big pile on the ground. I'd rather have them in the shed. Oh, look at that. That is like perfect timing. He just ran out of... filled up right as the truck got back... To, uh, within seconds, I should say, of the truck getting back to the thing. Oh, that's perfect, man. Well, not perfect, but close enough. He can drive over the fruit because he doesn't damage it, of course. Wow. Really good timing. I mean, it still wouldn't hurt to get a second trailer going, probably, but we've got other fish to fry, too, and I want to take care of those fish first. Very neat. I love it. Now, it probably takes... Well, actually, I didn't look to see what the com capacity of the combine is. Yeah, it was 40-some-odd thousand. And that red trailer can hold almost 60,000 liters. Yeah, we'll come back to you in a second, tractor. All right, guys. Well, I think we got this set up and running pretty smoothly I'm pretty happy that uh, the timing of it and you know we might I gotta think you know no I want to keep I think I want to keep well we could get the McCormick out here too I suppose we could even get the pickup out here on in the Flegel trailer which holds 40,000 liters itself yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's get to you and get you off the path. 
I need to keep the tractors for the field work that we have to do. But we're not going to need the pickup truck, so we can hook the pickup up to the Flegel. And, uh, you, you know, let it be the second trailer. I wonder if... You know what? I don't think the pickup will work on the Flegel because it's PTO. Oh, no, it's not PTO. No, never mind. It's just a normal tipper. Yeah, it should work. Okay. So, let's stop you here. Drop off the flatbed. And, yeah, let's go hit the Flegel. And that'll be our second hauler. And then that way we can keep that combine, or I keep calling it a combine, I know it's not a combine, a harvester, uh, going uh, hopefully non-stop. Let's, um, let's go back and repair that link that I broke. So it was from hither to yon. Let's get this turn going the right direction. And then if we tell this, uh, we want it to be on combine, field 68 load, and sugar mill unload. It should drive itself. Oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong side. Hold on. Now we'll just tell it to go from here. Yep, can bypass the sugar mill because it doesn't have anything to dump. All right, I'm just going to watch it, make sure it gets out to the field, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll get back over to 57 and continue with that. All right, guys, you made it out there with no difficulty, and repairing that link didn't cause any problems. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up to a forage wagon, um, probably get both of these tractors going actually to get the hay off of 57. We'll start with the fent though. Now we should have, uh, we should already have a way or a target point over here yeah f57 load so we can just we should be able to just use that because uh, i think that's what we used well did we use that for the grain though or for the hay i don't remember let's check it okay he's taken a long route which means he doesn't have a direct route to get there from say here to here uh, let's actually take it over to here and then we have to make sure we can get back after silage factory one unload and it doesn't look like there's a return path uh, not over here anyway. There's probably a long, a long way around, but we don't want the long way around. So we just want to come out this way. <clears throat> Swing out here and then starting from about here here we have a return path just going down the road I'm gonna take this path down a little further at least to the bridge because we're gonna need it in the future so let's stop recording it right there and I think what I'll do is come around 
here and maybe from here we'll just branch off over to there all right let's test it so once we've branched off over to here we want to be able to get to field 57 load Okay, and then we want to be able to get to Silage Factory 1 unload. Alrighty, so now what we want to do with you is... Um, we want to go... Take that out. We want to go to field 57, big M spiral, load course, activate. And this needs to be pick up and deliver. Field 57 load, silage factory one unload. And we should be in business. Now, while he's doing that, I'm going to go get back in the big M. And we're going to have a little bit of cleanup to do here. As usual. Actually, probably not a, too much cleanup. Okay, we're finished with the crone. Okay, so we have a worker in here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I, I did the same thing I always do wrong. I forgot to <laughs> link it to Corsplay. Okay, well, at least it was an easy fix. Good. Okay, so he's going to get started picking up the hay. And I'm trying. Okay, I gotta think what the next priority here is. Here is. Um. We should. We do have the third. The uh, AI farmer third hay cutting contracts available. Um. But I'd like to do them all as silage. Uh, I don't want to do another hay. So he. So the big field guy wants to do hay, which is not really what I want to do. How many of these are silage? Well, the good thing is that they're all going to the animal dealer instead of to my productions. So that's silage, that's hay, that's hay, that's silage, 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 and hay. Uh, yeah, okay, here's... <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to do. Anything that's silage and going to animal dealer, I'm going to take it now. That's hay, silage, animal dealer. Silage, animal dealer. That's silage, animal dealer. Silage, animal dealer. So these are all hay. Uh, what else is in the list here? There's a cotton for 59. Ooh. Sugar beet for in 30. Oh, yeah, 32. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> it's, it's enough work to do our own sugar beets. We're not doing somebody else's. Um, You know what? I could have done those, done this and borrowed the equipment, but he's got the smaller harvester anyways. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to clear the contracts and refresh them. And, okay, so that is... Still hay, so we don't want it. That is silage, but going to my plant, so that's not going to do us any good. And that's silage, but going to my plant, so not going to do any good. All right, so let's try it again. Clear the contracts, refresh them again. 14 is silage going to me. 71 is hay. 
I can tell by the price on it. Yeah, so those are no good. All right, let's try it again. Okay, I, I'm not able to get 71 to come up for Animal Dealer. When it does come up as a silage, it wants to go to the biogas plant, which doesn't do us any good because the bio, we own the biogas plant. So maybe I'll try and mess with those a little bit later. Um, so probably the next logical thing to do is going to be, assuming our beet harvesting is going smoothly, is just to jump into another forage wagon and um, <laughs> help get this hay picked up. Because we got to get this hay off the field in order to um, get it ready for planting. I think we're going to do barley this time. Okay. Uh, here, actually, let's get out of the way of this guy so he can get back on the field. We're going to have the New Holland start at a uh, inner point uh, or further in so that they don't clash with each other. Set this to field 57 load. Set this to Silas Factory 1 unload. Turn that on. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring him into, say, this row. And have him start at nearest waypoint. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have to... Yeah, I think I have to start it as course play. And then it should, as long as this thing is connected, it should switch back to auto drive when he fills up. There we go. Okay. I think that'll work. Okay, so we're going to let these two guys go at it. Let's check on our beet harvesting. So everything's looking pretty darn good here. He's even getting the corners pretty good, too. He's 40% full. Where are our trailers? They're probably en route, I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. Why is that going so slow? This is a 500-horsepower truck. <laughs> Shouldn't be going that slow. Oh, it's because it was thinking. Right, right. Okay, never mind. It should pick up speed here in a second. Yeah, it was, it was just thinking about which route to go on. Okay, we're good. Um, what about our other guy? Okay, he's back to the field. Or just about back to the field. Okay, that's really working well. But you know what? Um, we are going to have a super full sugar mill here in very quickly. Uh, so it's, about, it's already about 60% full. Um, and we have the sugar set to distributing, which is what we want it to do. And we also want to go to our distribution warehouse and make sure that that sugar is on distributing, which it is. So it's going to distribute to the bakery and the dairy until that fills up, which won't take long at all. And then it should just start storing the sugar uh, in the warehouse. But the beets, we got to take care of the beets. Okay, so let's get back to here. And um, I want to... Let's get in the McCormick. And we have a little bit of TMR we can squirt. Yeah, hardly, hardly any. Okay. So let's park right here. And I want to go back into here for a second. 
Uh, back to our sugar mill. So this holds 360,000 liters in the mill. Let's bring this up. Here, actually, let me save first before we go any further. Because we're going to do a little bit of um, construction, and I don't want to mess something up here. Okay. Uh, we want to go to silos, and we want to grab the $100,000 root crop start. Okay, that'll hold 800,000 liters. So that's about two and a half times that the sugar mill can hold. Okay. So what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to put it over here. Now it's going to be a little bit tight though. So we have to really make sure we put this in, in a way that makes sense. Um, what is that? That's the, that's the dump. Okay. The game will let me fit it there without having to go into free mode. So trucks could come through along the fence there to load, but the unloading might be a bit of a pain in the butt. What if we turn it this way? And bring it over to here. Yeah, there just isn't a whole lot of turning. Well, actually, you know what, though? The trucks could come through and then just drive out through this property here to get back out on the road. When they're dumping. But. What does it look like on this side? To load, they could... Loading would be a little bit more of a challenge. They'd have a really hard corner to turn. Yeah, that is not... That's not ideal. We don't really need to worry about the sugar, uh, the pallet unload area. Because that's just automatically sent to the warehouse anyway. So we could probably make this work. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is uh, I want to level this out just a little bit more here. Because we're going to have to set it down in free mode. And we want to make sure everything is nice and level. And I think we're going to go with this. Okay. For better or for worse, it's done. So for offloading... We should be able to get an auto drive course to come through here. We're going to have to cut through the neighbor's property, but I don't think they care. I'm not worried about that area there because we're never going to use it. For loading, which we won't use auto drive for anyway, that's just something I'll do on occasion. I'll just have to back a trailer in through here and just up to the trigger there, which we should be able to do. I don't think that'll be a problem. We could even do just a little bit more landscaping over here and even drive around that way. In fact, let's, yeah, let's mess with that a little bit. I'm going to save the game again, though, because we're doing landscaping and terrain editing, and I don't want to, I want to make sure I can recover if I screw something up. Okay, so let's go back to here again. And what we want to do is get leveling and start it from here and bring the land out more this way. So 
just so there's enough room to actually drive through here. It's going to be narrow, but doable. Trying to get the right angle for my camera here. Just raise that ground up. We're still fine on the ditch. We're not screwing up the ditch here by doing this. Okay, now let's go to painting and gravel. And I want to remove that and that to probably right about there. Okay, so when we need to load beets from the shed, what we will do is we'll come through here, trespass on the neighbor's property. I could probably make that look a little prettier. Let's just drive through here and swing over here to the trigger. And if it does, if we can't swing it well enough, uh, we shouldn't have any trouble with the Flegel trailer getting that in there. If not, you know, then we can pull forward and back it in. So I think we'll be fine. All right, man, got that done. Uh, let's go back here for a second. And I just want to make this look a little bit nicer. Let's see what it looks like from the ground or from here. Eh, it's better. I think it's I think it's workable. I think it's workable. Okay, so the next time the man truck... Oh, there it is right there. Here, I want to catch him because we're going to need to redo the path here. Oh, let's let this guy go through first. Okay. All right, now hit record. This will be for the dumping into the sugar beet shed. It's a little bumpy, but not terrible. Then we need to make a really wide swing here. Oh, man, look at that. Okay, and then cut through here and past. And we're going to name this um, Beat Shed Unload. All right, that's going to be too sharp of a corner to get out. So we're going to cut across through here. All right, let's make this a two-way. So if we go from here to here, there we go. Okay, and then we can connect this into there. Stop the recording. And then we just need to link the last two-way node 
back up to out here. Um, okay, it's not letting me curve it because it's going the other way. Well, actually, it's not really a problem. It's just going to go straight out like this and then turn. Yeah, that's not a problem. That'll work. Would have been nicer if it was a little smoother, but okay. Let's <coughs> let's do this. Uh, how are we doing on filling up the sugar mill? Da, 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 da. Oh, it's it's full. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to change this to beet shed unload. And it should work. We also need to do the same thing for the other driver, which is not you. What are you, wait, what are you doing? Oh, we're almost done. Okay, um, I'll come back and deal with this in a minute. <laughs> Too many things going on. Um, okay, why are you stopped? I don't know. Here, let's cut the engine on that tractor. Here, let's go to you. And oh, you know why they're stopped? Because the sugar mill is full. Okay, I, I think. So let's switch, change this to beat shed unload. Uh, stop it and restart it. And get you started. No, not not there. Sorry, this nearest waypoint. Oh, out of money. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> okay, we are, yeah, we are out of money. My goodness. Okay, we're going to have to take a, a loan. I, uh, I actually had to take a loan last month to buy all the seed I needed to replenish the greenhouses. So we actually have a little bit of debt going. Um, let's just borrow 150,000 dollars in total. Okay. Now, if we, here, let me get out of that view. Now we should be good. Okay. That explains it. Yeah, they, they don't want to work for free. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, so we're back on track there. And my assumption now is that you're good to go. You're just waiting, and the guy behind you is good to go. Excuse me. Okay. So I think we're back on track here with the beet field. Now, let's get back to here. Got a little bit of hay to clean up. So I think I'm going to uh, send the New Holland back. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the Fent to finish that field. And then, then we start planting. Yeah, that's the next thing. All right, let's watch the, uh, the pickup truck and the Flegel, uh, drop off in the beach shed. I don't think this one's going to have any trouble. I'm, I want to make sure that the the big truck uh, can make that turn, but we'll watch this one too, just because it'll be the very first time we've ever loaded beets in our beet shed. A wonderful thing. Yeah, he's not he's not gonna have any trouble at all getting in here. This beet shed's cool, man. Look at this thing. Those aren't actual beats in there, that's just for looks. In case you were curious. Oh cool, it even animates the conveyor. I love it. Very nice mod. Okay. Let's just make sure he can get out 
back on the main road. He should be able to without any issues. Oh. Okay, well. Mm, there's a problem. So let's see if we can figure out what it is. Probably the way I connected the intersection out here. So it goes into the two-way. Oh, you know what? I guess I didn't actually connect that line up. So what I actually want to do here is I want to just create one node there. And then I want, that way we can curve it and make it a smooth corner. Okay, let's go back to the beach shed and just make sure it's working out. So just turn this back on. And we're looking good. Okay, I think we're in business. Uh, the man is working on getting full, so I'll bring you guys back when uh, the big truck's ready to unload at the beach yet, so we can confirm that we have enough clearance with the turns. All right, guys, let's uh, see if the big truck can follow the path to the beach shed unload without major difficulty. This little pathway through here is slanted, but not really a problem. All right, here's the acid test. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to do it. Looks like it's going to do it. All right, fantastic. Look at all those beats. I really like this mod with the working conveyor belt and everything. It's so cool. All right, so we should have close to 100,000 liters now in the, in the shed. Uh, where does that even show up? Oh, you know what? I'll bet it doesn't show up in here at all because this it's not a production. It's But it should show us here yeah where the storage is okay all right you're gonna be okay coming around this corner yeah you should be fine coming around here fantastic all right you guys well uh i think it's gonna be time for us to wrap up this episode here um so what's gonna happen next is we need to sure all of that's running uh, I'm gonna finish getting the hay picked up off of 57 here then we need to actually meadow roll this field in order to get that second fertilizer application and then we will direct drill barley on it and convert it back to a cereal crop uh, for the next season on the sugar beet field we have to do the full prep on that big monster, so that means we got to pick up stones. We're gonna—I'm just gonna plow it. Um, I might—I might lease a couple of those big lizard uh, nine-meter um, plows because if we don't, you know, plowing is periodic plowing is on, and probably we'll need it. And in doing that, we'll also—we don't have to worry about weeds for the first year, so I won't have to spray it. We'll have to destone it. We'll have to lime it. You know, do all of the usual stuff that we do when we're preparing a new field. So that's going to come up, however, in the next episode. I think I'll do this field off camera just because you've seen it a couple of times now and get this one ready. And then once uh, I'm finished with this field, you know, then we'll get started with field 68 and get it prepared. Also probably for a barley harvest uh, for next season. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. 
and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.